Hi everyone, my name is Victor Aceves. I'll be talking about a little bit about structural family therapy. This is our group presentation. The members of my group are Lisa Ward, Ken Lott, and Angus McBain. This is the introduction to the family. Jay is a 20-year-old male. Uh, he drinks alcohol. He also has depressive symptoms, and sometimes he smokes. He lives in a house with his stepfather, his mother, and two siblings, an older sister and a younger sister, which is 15 years old. Some members of his family are facing mental illnesses, ranging from depression, PTSD, and bipolar disorder. Jay's mother was raised without boundaries. Too much freedom at such an early age led her to alcohol use. She was also a victim of rape. Consequently, she developed PTSD. And according to his mother, Jay behaves the same way she used to. Jay's stepfather values order, discipline, and following the rule. He has a wrong view of mental illnesses, thus he lacks of empathy for people suffering from mental illnesses. He sees mental illnesses as a weakness. Jay's older sister, she's 22 years old, and she was diagnosed with bipolar disorder, and some of the family rules do not apply to her. Jay feels she gets special treatment because of her illness and believes that is unfair. Due to his sister's symptoms to avoid conflict and keep the peace, Jay has distanced himself from the family. He has erected some solid boundaries. When he is at home, he just tries to blame with the family and he just tries to blame with the new environment to avoid to rock the boat, as he will say in his own words. After Jay was arrested while drinking alcohol, he started some counseling services as part of his recovery. Jay's treatment program includes the attendance of his older sister, his stepfather, and mother. All four members of the family will go to counseling sessions. Next, I want to talk about the presenting concerns for treatment as seen by this theory. Most likely, Jay's parents took him to an inpatient treatment center, probably because they believe his main problem is alcohol use or his depressive symptoms. But even if Jay decided to get some help on his own, the presenting problems under this modality are more than just alcohol use, depressive symptoms, rebellion, or smoking. Under this theory, according to our textbook, a family system approach to addiction and recovery, the focus on a particular individual and the symptoms is shifted to the family system and how it reacts to the problem. In other words, the problem behavior does not belong only to one member of the family, but to the whole family. So, having this in consideration, the presenting problem will be Jay's alcohol use, Jay's depressive symptoms, Jay's rebellion or defiance, mother's PTSD, sister's bipolar disorder, a stepfather's lack of empathy towards people suffering from mental illness, porous boundaries towards his older sister, and rigid boundaries towards Jay only. In conclusion, in a structural family therapy, the presenting problem is not limited to the behavior of one individual, but it considers the behavior of the whole family. The therapist may create a map to identify any specific issues that needed to be addressed and which of the observed issues are causing the most problems or behaviors in some members. Having this in consideration, the presenting problem is not only Jay's symptoms or behavior, but also the therapist will consider the symptoms and behaviors of the whole family. Next, Lisa Ward will be talking about the theoretical perspective. Thanks for watching.